Hey everybody, Zach Burns Night 2 here with a retro unboxing for you guys today. I actually got two of them for you. Um, this one's going to be because it was a request. The other one is because I really can't wait to show you. Uh, but this one, by the title and the thumbnail, you know what it's going to be for. It's going to be for Madden 2000. It came out in the PlayStation 1 and I believe also the Nintendo 64 in 1999. Um, I got this used for about $1. Um, most sport games from older generations, even if it's complete in box, are usually super easy to get a hold of and super cheap. Um, like I said, though, I pretty much got it for the cheap price. I'm probably going to try to do that with most of the games for older generations now. I'm going to try to collect older cheap price games. It might do a retro boxing uh, for them whenever I get them. Now, I really one thing I do like about Madden games, other than <clears throat> the to see how old the game looks compared to nowadays is the little NFL official license product sticker. I do like these kind of things. They look really nice. Even though this game is, what, 19 years old, it still has a really nice reflective sticker. There's still some scratches you could see. Um, I honestly don't know who he is, but I know he is a major part of the older games of uh, Madden. He's not on the covers anymore. It's usually just a football player in that current year or something like that. I'm not really into football, but might as well get it. It's only a dollar. I mean, I've had it for about maybe a year now, and I got it for like a dollar, and I barely played it. <laughs> but for collecting work purposes, this is just fine. Um, the game looks okay, actually, for a PS1 game. The models look nice, but that's pretty much usually what the sport games you do um, have is wait, up to eight players. Huh. How on earth would that be possible unless you have like 10 PS1s or something like that? But anyway. Here we go. Get the disc art right there uh, with the Madden 2000 logo. As you can see, it has like some sort of like special coating. You can actually feel it's kind of like popped out a tad bit, but not enough to where it's like incredibly showing. It also shows the controls behind it and the discs for the PS1. Uh, hello, um, are like a dark, like really, really dark purple. Even though it's supposed to be looks black. If you look in the light right there, you can see it's purple. That's how like PS1 games were though at the time, or with those discs. Um, there's the announcer, some players from no idea whose team those are. Um, go to scooch the. Oh wait, I don't need to scooch anything aside. You just put it back, don't I? I'm gonna show you the manual a little bit, and get it. Well, once I get get it, there we go. The manual. Ride, race, and fly with style. <laughs> that would be more fun to me. Um, not sure if it is fun, but for cheap. We've got the little instructions then showing you about the system, the controller. It's all black and white with very, very little coloring. Pretty much this is the color that's in it. It's just this little send out item. Hmm. But yeah, like, I was always so bad at sports games. I got it just because of collecting purposes. Nothing to actually really do too much with other than try it out. But that's pretty much it, though. Tell me in comments below what you guys and girls think of this video, and what do you think of Madden 2000? And if by any chance you've actually played it, which version do you have? N64 or PlayStation 1? See you guys in the next video, and God bless to all.